a drive you're having though out there in one of your fancy cars. So this applies to all of them. You might as well enjoy all of them as well. Yeah. And what about a location in view than Canada, right? Yeah, but do I'm just okay. Uh, let let's talk about uh, back home and talk about what's happening to same store sales growth and lots more. Ravi Gupta, CEO of Jubilant Foodworks, now joins us on the show to speak about that. And Ravi, good morning. Thanks for joining in. Uh, you know, um, uh, Ravi, I hope you can hear me. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm. I can I'm, hear you. Yes, great. So, Ravi, good morning. Now, you know, the 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 only good hitch. Morning. Let me start off with what is the pressure point, really, and the only hitch, if you will, or the one hitch uh, to the minds of people, is that after a six six and a half percent same store sales growth, people started anticipating you will do that at least, and you've come in lower, much lower than what the street was working with. Why so? Does it improve in the quarter ahead, or is this the new norm because inflation rates broadly are also coming off? So first of all, let us look at why this 6.6 percent growth or 4.6 percent growth has come. What we have done differently, and as a result of this, this 6.6 percent or 4.6 percent growth we have achieved. Now, in this quarter, last quarter, we have launched a new product at Domino's, which is called Parcel, which is starting at 29 rupees uh, price range. And we have introduced this along with the Aha Value campaign, where we started with 29 rupees product, which is a parcel, then 49 at Pizza Mania, and then 99 at Kid Meals, and then going up to fa Family Combo, which is uh, priced at about 349 rupees. At the Dunkin' Donut also, we launched a Crunchy Joe Burger at 49 rupees, and we launched a range of colatas there. Now, this is all the product in innovation what we have done, our customer-centric propositions we have done, and the great execution at the ground has resulted in this 4.6% growth. In the last quarter also, we have launched a new product which is Cheesy Wonder Pizza in Domino's Pizza and regular size cheeseburgers which we have launched. In Dunkin' Donut also, we have a Naughty Lucy Burger and a range of new donuts which we have launched uh, that quarter. And as a result, we have achieved 6.6% growth. The message I want to give is two, that this growth of 4.6% and 6.6% is coming on the back of our customer-centric proposition which we have done, which is led by product innovation and new product introductions. They are great execution at the ground, and that is the differentiator which is get, getting created. And the second message I want to give is there is no uptick we have seen in the consumer sentiment on the ground, and it is reflected by the negative same store number of the competition which is there in the market already. Vishen okay. is saying that you are cutting prices and that's the reason why your sales are growing. I had, I was speaking to your biggest competitor last night. We have not changed night. actually our prices. See, we have not changed our prices at all so far. We have done some price re-engineering. We are do doing actually whether our price are right in the right price range or not. We have done some pricing trial in select restaurant. We have not done any pricing increase or decrease, which is a system-wide phenomenon. So, I mean, what is it that you're trying to say, Ravi? I mean, are you trying to say that same-store sales growth will remain muted, considering you're saying consumer sentiment is just not picking up? Aisha, actually it is becoming very difficult in this environment where the economic growth is not, not helping us or consumer sentiment is not coming forward. In this context, it becomes very, very difficult for us to expect what the future holds for us. Now, what I'm saying is that 4.6%, 6.6% is a differentiated performance which we have achieved during this period. And this is on the back of our great execution and not that any support which we are getting for the market sentiment. So going forward, it becomes that much more difficult for us to anticipate saying that what future holds for us. We are still confident about the future that economic growth will come back and we are preparing. And as a result, we are still opening up 150 restaurants for Domino's Pizza, 30 for Dunkin' Donuts. We have entered 46 new cities last year. And this year again we will enter about 40 new cities around. And we are confident that these new cities are doing very well. And the new cities which will enter this year also will do very well. So we are preparing ourselves for the ultimate uptick in the consumer sentiment, which we are sure, sure. will happen. Sure. It is no. only the timing of that uptick we are not very sure. No, which is fine, Ravi. So we are talking about an uptick which may come in maybe one quarter, two quarter, three quarters or four quarters down the line. I understand it depends on the economic growth. My question to you is for the immediate uh, quarters, that is quarter three or quarter two and quarter three, would we see a same store sales growth northwards of 6% or that is difficult to achieve? Uh, the reason I ask is because the market probably started believing that 6 might be the new normal. Are you saying that that will not be the new normal? 
Actually, as a company, we do not give any guidance specifically, but in view that the economic growth or the consumer sentiment has not come in, it has become very difficult to say that this is a new norm. It can go up, it can go down, it can be anywhere as of now. Okay, fair call. But in all probability, it will not go up, considering that economic growth has not revived. Right, Ravi? For the next quarter at least. It's very difficult to anticipate saying that how the water will be. If you want me to give a color about how, how the, the last 45 days has been, it will be incorrect on my part to give any color on, on those 45 days. And uh, with that, probably uh, I will not discuss any further about the next quarter at least. What about margins though? They have remained flat despite what most people believe would be a lower input cost scenario. Yes, there was a lower input cost scenario, lower than our same store growth and that has impacted our positively our same store margins and as in past we have been telling saying that uh, our margin on the same store basis keeps on improving or coming down depending on how was our same store growth in relation to the inflation so last quarter inflation impact was lower than the same store growth in the on the same store basis however we continue to open very rapidly the new restaurants and the new restaurants open at about 70 to 80 percent of the system average sales as a result, their margins are also lower. I'm not giving an impression they are loss making, they are profit making, their payback period remains three years around. Uh, but despite that, since they are at a lower margin level, they bring down the overall margins. But despite all of that, we have been able to maintain the margin in this quarter. You look at Q1 last year to Q1 this year, we have maintained the margins. So you think about the efficiency created by the same store has been taken away by the inefficiency of the new stores, and as a result, the margins were flat on quarter and quarter basis, uh, last year Q1 to this year Q1. What about Dunkin' Donuts? How has the EBITDA performance been for that business in particular? See, Dunkin' business, uh, from the consumer point of view, is doing very well. Our, uh, we are very, very well entrenched now in the food food uh, uh, segment of it, led by burgers, and then we had a wraps and the sandwiches also. So it's very well entrenched. Uh, donuts, we launch all international quality of donuts, uh, range of donuts. No, actually we are focusing back on the donuts and, and the coffee segment. So next two quarters you will find more focus on, on those categories. Consumer perception, consumer reception of those brands is very, very positive. We are fairly upbeat that going forward more and more consumers will come in. But uh, our marketing become very inefficient because we are present, uh, we have only uh, around 60 restaurants spread across 21 cities. So whatever marketing energy we spend on this, becomes very inefficient because we are not present yet on the national TV. So once we, are, we have actually a meetable number of restaurants and we are able to go on the national TV, it will take the sales to the next level. As far as the EBITDA performance is concerned, last year we have disclosed saying that about 180 basis point uh, dilution was there in the margin because of Dunkin' Donuts. This year also we do not expect any change in that. We believe that it will be within that ballpark range. You don't have to worry about coming on national TV. We are always happy to carry your ads provided you are ready to advertise on ET now. We are a national channel. And we eat your products too, <laughs> very yes, regularly. We are a national channel. <laughs> but our affordability has to be there because we have to look at saying that how much money can we spend. I'm sure that's coming. So my question to you is actually talking about the good bit here. And the good bit for any consumer industry or for that matter jubilant food is that rental costs are not moving up. Commodity prices have come down. So there is a huge saving on raw material. How will these two benefits translate into a better profitability, a better margin expansion? Yes, uh, you actually very rightly uh, said that raw material is not giving any sleepless night. We don't expect any kind of inflation this year on the raw material. However, as far as the rental is concerned, uh, there are two, three elements of the rental. The first element of the rental is what you've committed in your agreement as far as inflation is concerned. Typically, all the rental agreement have inflation about 15% every three years, which you say is about 5%. So when, when the lease expires, then you have to renegotiate. And since the market inflation is higher than this 15%, which is there in the agreement, when you renew the agreement, the increase in the rental is higher than 15%, which means the overall inflation in the agreement comes to more than 5%. Now coming to the new restaurants, new restaurant is where we are getting respite right now, because when we are entering new restaurants, the lease rentals are not very high, so we are getting a positive benefit out of it. So rental inflation continues there because it is bound by the agreement. Now coming to the manpower, now minimum wages itself are going up at about double digit, kind of 10 to 12 percent range. Even other employees also, based on the market uh, trends, 
we need to pay increase in the salary, maybe 10 to 12 percent range. This is a component which you would have seen in the last over the years, three, four years, consistently moving up. And we believe that it is not going to come down despite that we are focusing on this in terms of the creating manpower efficiency around it, creating Six Sigma model as to how can we be more productive at the restaurant level, at the corporate level and all that. So next thing I want to say is raw material inflation will be almost zero this year, but weighted average of all the inflation will be still about 5% level. And in that context, we need to see saying that how much price increase we need to do or whether, whether we can absorb the price in, without price increases. And they will have a dilution impact on the EBITDA margin if we do not increase the prices. Okay. Ravi, we wish you all the best uh, for the quarter ahead. Thank Hopefully you. the same store sales growth numbers look better the next time around as well. Thanks for joining in. Thank you. No guidance really. Uh, he's saying that it could go either direction. It seemed more like it will stay at these levels or, or probably will not go up till 6.6 .6 or 6.7 that we saw in the previous quarter last time around the stock under a mild bit of pressure as well. We'll take a quick break, come back with more results in fact.